Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Turnquest Roll again, here to introduce to you the concept of tally graphs. If you remember correctly, you know that a graph is a picture that shows a representation of information or data. A tally graph is a very special kind of graph, and I'd like to tell you all about it. So put on your thinking cap, turn on the wheels in your mind, because here we go. Here are today's learning goals. By the end of this video, you should be able to match graph vocabulary to their meanings. Two, represent data using tally marks. And three, compare and analyze data on a tally graph. Are you up for this learning challenge? Well, I sure hope so. I sure hope your memory bank is open because here we go. Let's focus on our graph vocabulary. The title is the heading of the graph. The key is the information about what the symbols on the graph mean. The data is the information collected. And the graph is a picture that shows information or data. Did you get that? What is the purpose of a graph? What is the purpose of data especially? Well, there's a twofold purpose of data. The first is solving problems. We create graphs to help us to solve problems more quickly. The second purpose is for making decisions. When we have a graph to refer to, we can make clear and distinct decisions about the information that we know. Tally graphs are a special kind of graphs that have two purposes as well. The first is to represent numerical data in a quick way. And the second is for easy comparison. Let's explore a little more to see what a tally graph looks like and how numerical data is represented as well as how we can make comparisons using the tally graph. Do you remember when I said to you that I just love to sing? Well, I certainly do. And I'd like to share with you my Tally Mark song. Are you ready? Watch as I make the Tally Marks and chant. One, two, three, four, five, shuts the door. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, draws a line. Did you get that? I know, I went pretty quickly. I'm gonna try it again. One, two, three, four, five, shuts the door. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, draws a line. That's how we make tally marks. Let's look a bit more closely how each tally mark looks with its respective number. Here we go. Here are the tally marks along with their numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is how the tally marks look next to their respective numbers. I'd like for you to open your memory bank and lock this in because you're going to need to remember this for quick referencing on tally graphs. An important skill we need to learn is building the tally graph. Can you remember what the description of the data is called? Can you remember how we represent data on a graph? Well, when building a graph, 
our purpose is to collect data. In collecting data, that means that we pay attention to our purpose. In considering this tally graph, we want to consider our favorite sports. The class has gotten together to decide what their favorite sports are. So, in the first row, they will list each sport. Here, the children have decided on hockey, soccer, basketball, and gymnastics. So we have our title and we have our first column. Did you get that? Our second column is gonna show the tallies. The children went around and found out how many people liked hockey, how many people like soccer, how many people like basketball, and how many people like gymnastics. That's what the tallies are for. Now, you have to remember what each amount of tally marks looks like in order for you to be able to report the number of students that like each of the sports. We just built a tally graph. Now it's time for us to read the tally graph, of course. When reading a tally graph, our purpose is to solve problems and make decisions. Let's match the tally marks with their numbers. Do you know what this tally mark means? If you said six, you are absolutely right. What about this one? If you said five, you are one smart cookie. What about this one? If you said four, you should give yourself a big juicy kiss because you're absolutely right. What about here? If you said two, you are one smarty pants. So our job here is to read this tally graph and our purposes are to solve problems and make decisions. Pay attention to this tally graph. I'm gonna ask you some questions about this graph. You're going to think about your answer, say it to yourself, and I'll tell you if you're correct. Here's the first consideration. What sport do the children in the class like the most? Take a few seconds and think about it. If you said that the children in the class love hockey the best, you are absolutely right. How did you solve that problem? What helped you to make your decision? Well, of all the numbers, six is the greatest or biggest number. So that means the most favorite sport in the class is hockey. Now here's another consideration I'd like for you to make. Uh, which sport or how do you know which sport is the least favorite of the class? If you said gymnastics, you are absolutely right. Gymnastics, is the least favorite sport of the class because it has the smallest number of students that like it. What did you notice about the numbers and the tallies on our graph? They have a special order. Did you realize that they are in order from greatest to least or from biggest to smallest? If you recognize that, you should give yourself four pats on the shoulder because you are one smart cookie. One more question about this tally graph before I go. Do the students in the class like soccer or basketball better? If you said soccer, you are correct. 
We know that the students like soccer more than they like basketball because five students like soccer and four students like basketball. Five is greater than or bigger than four. So more students like soccer than they do basketball. Whew. I sure hope you got that. Well, we've come to the end of another very exciting lesson. Before you go for the day, I'd like for you to grab someone who's at home and would like to assist you. Please have them help you navigate to videos, worksheets, and games that will help you to better understand this concept. You can always rewind this video to review parts of it that you need to spend more time with. I sure had a great day with you, and I hope you had a great day with me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.